Welcome Libra. This message is for you. This is your second half of November reading. And I'm actually filming this on 11-11. So, um, make, if you're not sure what 11-11 means, make sure to Google those numbers. They're very, very angelic numbers. Okay, we have make a move. Let's see what else we have here. We have meditation for clarity. At the bottom of the deck, we have learn from life. Let's get some more oracle cards here. Well, that was kind of fast. Let's see what we got. We have Call of the Muse, number 31, Bearing Fruit, number 12. And we also have the Grand Symphony. At the bottom we have Beyond the Ordinary. Okay, let's get some cards from the angels. Let's see what advice the angels have to say right now. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. Okay, maybe you're surrounding yourself by children right now, Libra. Interesting. We also have Grace and Antoinette. To help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. Okay. And we have Fiona. Now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven, heaven's help. So yeah, I think that your angels really want to give you a message at the moment. I feel like... Um, maybe you've been struggling with the situation. Um, let's see what, the, what messages we can get from the tarot cards. Angels and spirits. I have a message for Libra, please. Libra, for some reason I'm feeling that you're going to be having visions or dreams. I mean, either while you're sleeping or while you're awake. But I feel like your spirits that are surrounding you really want to deliver you a message. And I feel like those that message is going to come to you. Maybe in a dream. Angels and guys, please give me a message for Libra. That's a lot of cards. Okay, let's see. We have the Page of Pentacles, 
the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Death card. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have Temperance. going to be receiving a download of some kind. I feel like Spirit wants to really deliver you a message. A message for healing. I feel like you've been deep in thought. You've been struggling through for a while. And I, f I feel like whatever this is, you this is you going through a dark time, but this is also you going through great change. And I feel like you're going through a lot of changes at this time, Libra. Um, I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, you also have the Empress. I feel like there's three. There's three people that you are dependent on at this time. Maybe there's three people for support. Maybe these, these three people and maybe this Empress energy is you and these Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Cups are the people surrounding you. But I, I feel like there's a team around you. I, I feel like you're being supported. I feel like you are being supported through your decisions or through your hard time. What is the Seven of Cups? What is the Seven of Cups? I want a little bit more clarity on the Seven of Cups. The Five of Swords. like whatever this this is that you lost Libra you also have the world at the bottom so I, I, I believe with the world and the death card you are actually you've come full circle With this Five of Swords, I feel like you haven't given up. 
You haven't given up the fight. I feel like you have a lot of decisions. You have a lot of things on your plate at the moment. But you haven't given up the struggle. I think that's the reason why you have the temperance here. Because the temperance usually comes right after the death card. The death card brings big change, big transformations, a time to move away from old feelings or situations to give you total transformation. And then temperance comes to provide you with balance and patience and harmony. So I, I think that's what this is. You've gone through a transformation. There's been so many changes around you, Libra. And it's left you feeling unfulfilled. It's left you feeling like you're alone or you have nothing left. But see, you have one cup left. This is the cup given to you by the universe. This is your reason to move on, your reason to move forward. I'm not sure how many this is going to resonate with, but this is for somebody. This is your new beginning. You're moving on. You have the Six of Swords in the world. You're moving on to a completion. This is like the beginning. Whatever lessons that you learned, whatever uh, travels that you went through, you're moving, you're moving past it. You're moving into more harmony, more patience. I think that's what spirit is trying to lead you to understand. Let's get a little bit more clarity here. This may have to do with children and family. 